So if you're like a lot of real estate agents, you might struggle with follow-up. Sorry if that's a trigger for you, <laughs> but follow-up is one of those things that as salespeople, as business owners, we got to do it to be successful, right? We got to take our leads and get them to the closing table. Follow-up is instrumental in that. Well, if you didn't know, I actually specialize in follow-up as a critical system in your real estate business. I've got some like freebies on it. And I have an entire module dedicated to it in the Market Authority Academy, which is my business coaching program for realtors. And this week on a coaching call, the question was posed on follow-up. How many times do we really need to be following up, Stephanie? Like, how many times are we following up before we just write off the lead altogether? So I'm going to give you the short answer to this question, and then I'm going to give you a longer answer with some examples. So the short answer, for me at least, is I'm following up until I get told to buzz off or where do I sign? <laughs> like until I have what we call a disposition on a potential lead, I'm not going to stop following up. So if we look at like the actual goal to follow up, the goal is to get what we call a disposition on the lead. And a disposition tells us a couple of things. It's, it's basically our, our qualification for the lead. Number one, are they looking to buy or sell? Number two, are they able to buy or sell? Like if someone tells me they just filed bankruptcy last week, I would probably say that they're not a viable lead. They're not a, they're not a great client opportunity. Number three, are they willing to buy or sell with us? Are they already represented by an agent? Do they desire representation from, from an agent at all? Are they receptive to it? Once we get a disposition on those questions, then we know how better to actually action on that client. But until we have that, we need to continue following up until we know whether or not they're a viable lead. Now, most of our clients who we're following up with are going to do us the service of telling us to buzz off. They're going to tell us to stop or they're not interested or please stop contacting me. And at that point, okay, cool. I have gotten the disposition that this lead is not interested or not a good fit. And so I can stop following up with them. But until I have a definitive answer, yes or no, I'm gonna continue reaching out to them. And this even includes this might sound crazy, but this even includes clients who I was following up with and then dropped the ball and then they bought a house with another agent and they're now out of that agency with that, that agent because now they're in the home. If I follow up with them and hear that they just purchased a house, I'm then going to continue following up with them until they need to buy or sell it or they need a referral. Like that is how seriously I take follow up and that is how you 10x your real estate business without ever having to spend a dime in ads. You know, I'm talking to real estate agents all the time who are like looking for more leads, trying to find new clients or better lead sources. And inevitably, they always go to the question of, should I be paying for online leads? Do I need to like buy this fancy CRM and marketing system that does Facebook ads? Like, how do I sign up for this referral uh, agreement source that is going to take 30% of my commission for anything closed, but at least they'll hand me someone warm. Like, why would you start considering those questions before you solve the follow-up system that is broken in your business? I don't get it. So if, you're, if your follow-up system is broken, then one of two things are happening. Number one, you don't have a good place to keep them, okay? If you're getting leads and you keep losing track of them or they live in like random papers on your desk that you accidentally throw away, or if you're having leads like reach out to you in the DMs on social media and then like you never do anything with them and then you lose them, like that's a problem. So my rule of thumb is as soon as I get a lead, they go in my CRM. If you are not putting a client contact in a place that you control, you are already set up to fail. And so you have to have a CRM at some point in your real estate business. And if you are trying to like recommit to a CRM that you already have, or if you are ready to start the journey to actually find a CRM and set it up and start using it effectively without overcomplicating it, I have a great freebie for you. Get my CRM startup guide, which is going to tell you exactly everything that you need to know about choosing and setting up and beginning to use a CRM. Check it out here. The links to download that for free are below. But make sure and, and ask yourself this right now. What happens when you get a lead? Are you, are you putting them in a CRM or are you putting them in a safe place like a spreadsheet? Do you have a system in place for what happens when you get the contact? If not, fix that right now. You can actually like take action and correct that today. This does not have to be a big, crazy thing. You can fix that right now. Now, the second thing that's happening when agents are not following up right is they just like totally overcomplicate with what they need to say. 
Because I'll tell them, listen, like if it takes six months to follow up with someone, I'll reach out to them for six months. So many agents are like, well, Stephanie, what do you say for six months? Like what, what's the script? What's the template? What are you saying? Well, in the Market Authority Academy, I teach you a, a technique where you don't even need scripts. Like you just know how to speak to them like a real human with the skills that I'm teaching you there. So if you're in MAA, check out module five. If you're not in MA, in MAA, check out the links below to book a call with my team. If you must and you feel like you cannot survive without a script, I've got two that you need. OK, so here's a really great script if you have a cold lead who you kind of maybe dropped the ball with and you need to re-engage or get a sense of like where they're at in the process. And uh, you're you're going to either determine, depending on their response, that they've already purchased a home, they changed their mind or they're getting started now. OK, so that's the script that you need to figure that out is, hey, first name. Just checking my notes. I didn't see whether you ended up purchasing a home this year. Were you still looking to make a move in 2024? That's it. If you want to call out the fact that you dropped the ball and didn't follow up with them, you can. That might sound something like, hey, just saw your name come across my desk. I could kick myself. I feel like I dropped the ball from our last conversation. Just checking in. Did you ever end up buying a house? <laughs> right? Just that's, that's as simple as it needs to be. Now, the second script that you might find helpful, just to show you how simple this can be, is if you've been following up a couple of times and they haven't gotten back to you. All you need is some variation of, hey, sorry we haven't been able to connect. Does it make sense to get on a call today? That's it. Your follow-up should not create more work for your clients. It should be straight, simple, to the point. One sentence, open-ended question, that's all you need. And so I was explaining this on the coaching call in the Market Authority Academy, and uh, one of the members on the call, Debbie, actually had this great takeaway that I want to share with you today. So here's a free tip to you, courtesy of Debbie. She said, simple but significant takeaway, add the follow-up texting sequence or some of those text scripts in the notes app. So what I do is I literally have my notes app on my phone where I keep a lot of these like really quick, just very simple, generic scripts like the two I just gave you so that I can copy and paste them anytime I need something just to get the conversation going. So that is your homework for today. Set up your notes app, take some of your go-to scripts um, or DM scripts, templates, whatever you need, and make sure that they are in there so that you can always have them at the ready so that you don't fall into the excuse that you don't know what to say. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and what script you are going to start using today. Would love to hear from you there. Be sure to hit subscribe to this channel and like this video if you want to see more like it. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. Till next time, keep on crushing it.